Hey everyone, I'm Jonathan. Search Marquee is an upgraded version of the Bing Direct virus. Having it on your Mac is not only annoying, but unsafe. Although Search Marquee won't ruin your system, it may steal your personal data and open the door to more hazardous threats. Cleaning the compromised computer of the malicious code might be a great challenge. Today I'll show you how to remove Search Marquee from Mac and protect your device from future attacks. But first, let's see in detail what Search Marquee really is. Technically, it's a browser hijacker and potentially unwanted program that pretends to be a useful extension. The app claims to optimize your search and browsing experience. But instead of providing a flawless service, it sneaks into your Mac and turns your browsing into a nightmare. Once installed, the rogue tool modifies browser settings without your permission. It changes the home page, search engine, and new tab page to its own website. As a result, you visit it repeatedly. Worst of all, you can't undo the changes. These pseudo apps like Search Marquee tend to exploit the Bing search engine to look more legitimate. But before redirecting to Bing, they lead you through a bunch of questionable sites. This way, cybercriminals reroute traffic and generate revenue. Search Marquee can considerably reduce system performance, overload the CPU, and freeze up your browser. On top of that, the crooks might collect browser-related data from your computer, including IP address, search queries, and browsing history. The best way to protect your data and restore system performance is to defeat the hijacker as soon as you detect it. There are two ways to get rid of it, manual and automatic. I'll start with the faster automatic way. Luckily, many apps can recognize Search Marquee today. Clean My Mac X can do the job with ease. This Mac Cleaner app is to its respect notarized by Apple, so it's a confirmed safe approach to try. Clean My Mac X eliminates any malicious elements and cleans up your Mac from various kinds of digital clutter. Here's how to use its malware removal tool. First, get your copy of Clean My Mac X. Find the direct link to free download in the description box under the video. Then, follow the on-screen instructions to install the app and launch it. Go to the Malware Removal tab and press Scan to kickstart the detection process. Once done, hit Remove to delete the malware once and for all. That's all. Now check your browsers, or better, restart your device. There should be no trace of Search Marquee on your Mac. Clean My Mac X also offers real-time protection to check your system for threats in the background. You'll instantly find out if it reveals any unusual activity. To set up the background scan and keep your computer protected, go to the Clean My Mac X menu and choose Preferences. Check the box next to the feature you want to apply. Done. If you have free time and energy to cope with system settings, you can try manual removal. So first, trash malicious applications. Click the Go in the Finder and choose Utilities, or hold the Shift-Command-U keyboard shortcut. Open Activity Monitor and quit any processes related to Search Marquee by pressing the Force Quit button in the toolbar. Next, head over to the Go menu and double-click on Applications to open the folder. Alternatively, press Shift-Command-A. Identify any recent apps you don't remember installing and drag them to the trash. Great! Now it's time to check and remove suspicious login items. To do that, go to the Apple menu. Choose System Preferences and head over to Users and Groups. From here, choose the Login Items tab. If you notice anything that shouldn't be there, check the box next to it and click the Minus button. Well done! Next, get rid of malware-related leftovers. Hold Shift-Command-G to open up the Go To Folder window. Paste each of the folder names you see into the search box. You can copy them right from the video description below. Hit Go after each one. Inspect each folder for the items with Search Marquee in their name. If you find any, trash them. Be especially careful, as deleting system forming files by mistake may lead to a system crash. The last step is restoring hijacked browsers. Let's start with Safari, then we'll see how to do the same with Chrome and Firefox. By the way, what's your favorite browser? Share in the comments. So, here's how to bring Safari back to the default settings and remove any extensions that look out of place. Select Preferences from the Safari menu. Choose the Extensions tab. Hunt for an extension associated with Search Marquee, select it, and press Uninstall. Return to the General tab. Type the preferred website in the Homepage field. Next, go to the Search tab and pick the search engine. Done. 
Now it's Chrome's turn. Navigate to Chrome colon slash slash extensions. Find a malware related extension and click remove next to it. Then switch to Chrome colon slash slash settings. Choose on startup in the sidebar to set your preferred start page. After that, go to the search engine and pick the one you want to use. Finally, let's see how to restore Mozilla Firefox. Head over to About colon add-ons and select Extensions. If you see an extension you don't recognize, click the three-dot icon next to it and choose Remove. Next, go to About colon Preferences. Reset the home page and search engine you want to use. Now your browser should work as usual. Looks like a lot of work? Even if you complete all these steps, some malicious elements could slip through the cracks. So for accurate and hassle-free removal, I recommend scanning your Mac with a reliable anti-malware tool. I'm really hoping this video helps you eliminate the imposter for good. Check out the description box for links and extra details. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let's stay in touch. Subscribe and hit the little bell button to get the latest Mac tips. More helpful videos to come. See you soon.